A video taken at the World Economic Forum shows director Klaus Schwab plotting with Google co-founder Sergey Brin to install brain implants in our heads so that the globalist World Economic Forum can measure your brain waves and read your thoughts. According to WEF director Klaus Schwab, the mega-rich heir of a Third Reich industrialist, the brain implants will be rolled out inside 10 years and there is nothing you can do about it. The disturbing mind control fantasy laid out by a clearly aroused Klaus Schwab was recorded during a 2017 World Economic Forum summit in Davos, Switzerland, and has only recently surfaced in the public domain. According to Schwab's timeline for the rolling out of the brain implants, they will be in use by 2027. That's just five years from now. The resurfaced video comes on the heels of several other disturbing video clips and statements in which Schwab and his fellow elites at the WEF have openly expressed their desire to live a life of degradation and humiliation before falling victim to a mass extinction event. The WEF is now openly attempting to force humanity to eat bugs and insects and drink recycled toilet water, block out the sun with space bubbles, capture powerful positions in penetrated governments worldwide, and finally, wipe out at least 94% of the world's population. The WEF is so arrogant in its goals and so certain that they can't be stopped that they're willing to admit their nefarious goals to the public. So that we penetrate the cabinets. So yesterday I was at a, rece at a reception for Prime Minister Trudeau and I would know that half of this cabinet, or even more half of, uh, half of this cabinet, are for our uh, actually young global leaders of the world economy right. form. During his 2017 talk on forcing implants into the brains of ordinary humans and tracking their every thought, Schwab was joined on stage by Google co-founder Sergey Brin, a key player in the big tech transhumanist scene. Transhumanist artificial intelligence touches every single one of Google's main projects, ranging from search to photos to ads, Bryn said on stage alongside Schwab, adding that WEF-approved tech tyranny touches everything we do. Lauding advancements in what has become openly anti-human technology, Schwab told Bryn and those in the audience that within 10 years, everybody on Earth will be wearing brain implants. This will allow the WEF and their associates to measure your brain waves and immediately tell you how the people react. Very useful data, I'm sure you'll agree, for the elites in pursuit of their goal of worldwide totalitarian fascism with the human race on its knees. Can you imagine in 10 years when we are sitting here, we have an implant in our brains and I can immediately feel because you all will have implants. I can measure your brainwaves and I can immediately tell you how the people react or I can feel how the people react to your answers, Schwab said to Bryn, who looked on with amazement. You cannot stop it, Schwab bragged of his tyrannical plan. Can you imagine that in 10 years when we are sitting here, we have an implant in our uh, brains and um, I can immediately feel, because you all will have implants, I can and we measure your, your brain waves and I can immediately tell you how the people react or I can feel uh, how the people react um, to your answers. Uh, is it imaginable? Um, I, I think that is imaginable. I think um, I, I think you know you can imagine that you can imagine well you're going to be sort of transplanted into, you know, the, the internet, so to speak, to live forever in a digital realm. This isn't the first time the WEF has admitted that they're fascinated by the possibilities inherent in mind control technology. Earlier this year, they were caught scrubbing the internet of their plans for using mind control on the masses via cutting edge sound wave technology. Unfortunately for Klaus Schwab's WEF, the internet is forever. In 2018, they published an article entitled Mind Control Using Sound Waves, we ask a scientist how it works. Of course, it was scrubbed from their site, but thanks to the Wayback Machine, we have the evidence of their technocratic depravity. While at face value, many may dismiss Schwab's brain implant fantasies as the staff of science fiction movies, the People's Voice has closely covered the powerful World Economic Forum and their dystopian plans for humanity, showing that the statements of Schwab and his associates should be taken very seriously. And I have to say, um, 
when I mention our names, like Mrs. Merkel, um, even uh, Vladimir Putin and so on, they all have been young global leaders of the World Economic Forum. Mm -hmm. But um, what we are very proud of now, is the young generation like uh, Prime Minister Trudeau, um, President of, Pres of uh, Argentina and so on, is that we penetrate the cabinets. So yesterday I was a at a reception for Prime Minister Trudeau and I would know that half of this cabinet or even more half of, uh, half of this cabinet are for our uh, actually young global leaders of the world economy right. form. That's true in Argentina as well. It's true in Argentina and uh, it's true in France now. Mm -hmm. I'm here with the president who is a young global leader. As previously mentioned, Schwab is the son of a powerful Third Reich industrialist. By way of the World Economic Forum, where he is united with Israeli scientists, big tech oligarchs and deep state operatives, Schwab plans to roll out what equates to real worldwide fascism, a global merger of the corporation and the state. Sovereignty will be a concept that exists only in the distant past. Constitutions won't be worth the paper they were written on. Presidents and prime ministers will be puppets of the globalist oligarchy. Once the WEF has captured enough seats in governments, a Great Reset powered by Big Tech's fourth industrial revolution will reshape the world, and supposedly democratically elected governments will share legislative power with megacorporations and the WEF. According to the WEF, after the fourth industrial revolution, human bodies will be so high-tech, we won't be able to distinguish between what's natural and unnatural. We are wondering what is happening to the world. Everything is changing. The very idea of human being some sort of natural concept is really going to change. Our bodies will be so high tech we won't be able to really distinguish between what's natural and what's artificial. Inside our own heads is the most complex arrangement of matter in the known universe. You might ask yourself, can we get to be superhumans? With their covert political operations already well underway, the World Economic Forum boasts powerful politicians among its ranks. While the WEF has mostly recruited left-wing authoritarians, its numbers have been swelled by conservatives, including Congressional Republicans Dan Crenshaw and Elise Stefanik. Klaus Schwab himself has personally mentioned the likes of California Governor Gavin Newsom, and authoritarian Prime Ministers Justin Trudeau of Canada and Jacinda Ardern of New Zealand as three of his favourite WEF corrupted government officials. Technology is at the heart of Klaus Schwab's not-so-secret agenda. Last week, his deputy, Yuval Noah Harari, explained that the global elites will survive an upcoming mass extinction event courtesy of a technological Noah's Ark. You know, one of the biggest dangers in the technological utopianism that all oh, the technology will solve it is the kind of uh, Noah Ark syndrome, mm -hmm. like in the Bible with the flood, that yes, eventually they built an ark, but just for five people or something like that. Right. Almost everybody drowned. And there is a very big danger that with climate change, when people talk about what's our future going to be like, there is no us, there is no our future. Humanity might divide into a majority, maybe, of people who would suffer tremendously and a minority that will have the resources, the wealth, the technology to protect themselves and even flourish in some kind of technological Noah's Ark. If you don't want a future in which you and your children wear brain implants that allow the globalist elite to read and control your minds, 
it's time to make a stand. If you are interested in averting a mass extinction event survived by a tiny minority of the global population aboard their technological Noah's Ark, then the siren call of the WEF must be resisted. The statements of Schwab and his associates must be taken very seriously.